some lost time on so while I was on vacay, so you're getting a, a video two weeks in a row. Um, we're gonna finish some plumbing and some stuff. We got the oil system to do, we got our fuel system to do. Uh, we're gonna mount up the radiator. Um, and we'll just see what else we can we can show you while we're at it. So we got our throttle cable bushings from Garage S6, these little billet bits. Uh, I'm just going to show you real quick how they go on, how simple they are. Um, if you come in close, I'll show you. This is what your factory setup is going to look like. And this is what you're replacing is a big squishy rubber thing. Um, just kind of reduces the feel of the throttle and such, you know, kind of just has more give than your little bit of aluminum there. So this bit just peels off. We'll get it off of the end of the cable here. Or we'll just cut it. We'll just cut it. I like cutting it. That bit unscrews. This is when Nate cuts his fingers off. And then this piece just slides over the cable. It's going to screw on like so. And it has a little circ clip that once you get it through your bracket here, it'll go on the back side. I'll show you what it all looks like whenever it's fully installed and I get it all adjusted up. All right, guys, check out. We got our throttle cable bolted up. We showed you how to install those bushings. Uh, we did have to cut this off and move it forward because our E39 cable wasn't quite the right length for our E34 bracket, but a little minor stuff. You may not have to deal with that in your swap. All right, guys, I got to show you this. Uh, I think he's outside still. Um, so, I wasn't planning on coming down to the shop this weekend. My wife's out of town and I don't have a babysitter. So, we were talking about this last night with the guys and just to show you the kind of crew I get to work with, let's just sneak outside and get a shot of this. Here's Michael, our normal camera guy, watching four of my children just so I can work on my job. All right, I just thought I'd get here, get in here and show you some of the plumbing for the whole system. Uh, we've got our one of our feeds here. Our other feed goes up here, goes to the oil filter housing. This is our drain back tube right here. Um, we were able to use the factory E30 uh, pressure line on the power steering. Kind of had to loop her around. Uh, but a little bit of tweaking on the steel line, it, it, it did work. Uh, here's our suction tube for the power steering and everything's going to be routed and cut through these run through these two holes up in here that's where our reservoir is mounted up top all right with the use of cad you know cardboard is assisted design we've uh, devised a upper radiator mount i've been thinking about this for a few weeks i've been trying to figure out how to do it and i think i've i've got something here i'm going to take these pieces and they're going to set down in here in this channel this bit's going to bolt on to here, and we took this piece and kind of bent it up, and it's going to set something like that. I'm going to go over to the table, tack it all together, and we'll test fit it, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's on, on the car. All right, ready? <laughs> yeah. It's a little tacky tacky. All right. I think that's about it. We're going to go test fit it. See if there's any changes we need to make. And see how it does. You on? That's gonna be glorious. Alright, I think it's ready for full weld. I'll show it to you when it's when it's done. Done. We showed you that when it was finished. This is it all powder coated. We've got a special plan for this. Uh, we will show, be showing you in a later episode, kind of a tribute to the guys that worked on this. Our fuel system. This is a just like a regular 5 16th fuel filter for fuel injection. Um, I thought about tucking it down in here, but that's right where all your exhaust heat is, and I didn't want to do that, so we got it up here in the open. Not the best looking thing, but it'll at least keep it cool. All right, guys, we're gonna close this one out. We got our throttle cable mounted up. Um, we've got our 
oil system plumbed. We finally got our power steering plumbed. We built our sweet radiator upper mount. Uh, we figured out what hoses we needed for our to go to this radiator. And uh, we got our fuel system plumbed. We are, I think next week we are going to be working on wiring. Um, let's cross our fingers. Maybe that goes well. We might even get to hear it fire. And I'll get to shave this beard. Um, yeah, wiring's going to be the next thing. There's a couple little knickknacks around that's not really interesting to see, but we'll, uh, we'll catch you all next time. And as always, check out our Facebook. Let us know what you're working on, um, and we'll see you then. I think what I'll do is uh, I'm going to go back into the welding position and do one tack over here on this corner. And then I'll come up and say, well, let's go test that. Okay. Sounds good. We'll put that commentary on the DVD. Mm -hmm. That'll be special feature. The VHS. Tacky tacky. Since all our cars are from the 80s and 90s, we gotta say VHS. Yeah, you just messed up my whole dialogue. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I didn't realize you were going. Dang it. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't do a new other time. It's gonna be funny one day, but then we get done. Just fake it. I gotta get the sparky. Okay.